For 80 years, Iredale County has been holding its agricultural fair, and tonight, for the fifth year, it will host the DNQ Carving Series. Tonight, it's throwback night for the League Two Real Estate Group and the DNQ Dirt Series, and this is brought to you by Carroll Tractor and Trailer Repair. Let's go down to last week's winner. Well, via the Tech Shed last race, Tony Barkman took home his first ARCA Series win. We didn't get to talk to you because it was about 11.30 at night by the time that was all over. You did fulfill the Jamie McMurray prophecy that we had before that race. Um, you didn't get to actually celebrate victory lane, but you did get the win. How did it feel to actually win that race? It felt pretty cool to get that win. This is the first win I've ever had as a driver, so I'll take it. I'll take it. I hate to win them that way, but I'd like to win it on track. I'd like to win one on track here soon, too. I'll take it. We're cracking down on a lot of the engine stuff in the uh, Bush Series and Arca Series. So tonight, is this your car that you're running tonight? No, it's actually Michael Carber's cart. So last week I was filling in for John and the John Kinder cart, the Rims 1 machine. Tonight I'm in uh, the Michael Carber machine. Well, we know Carber's won a couple races back in the day, but he's got some rough shit. So you're, you're basically going from, like Ross Chastain did last week, you're going from a Ganassi ride to now you're going back to the Johnny Davis stuff. Do you think the magic is still there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I came here and ran the other night. I've been running pretty good the last two or three times I've run. And regardless of what card I've been in, so slowly making strides. Well, we may have a driver on our hands here, guys. Tony Barkman looking for another ARCA Series win. Well, Jay-Z, Jason Denny looks like he is going to have a shot at winning this championship tonight. He's got five wins this season. He pulled his wiener out, laid it on the table, and no one else can measure up right now. I'd like to say there's going to be a, a race for the championship, but I think he's going to get it locked up. No one's had the pace he's had all year. He's running unfiltered, just like those Campbell cigarettes. Competitor Christian Moody is here tonight as well, and these two have battled it out throughout the season. Christian's an early favorite. In past seasons, he's been on way out front, but Denny stepped his game up, brought a whole package out here that Christian hasn't been able to match this year. Uh, you know, praise, uh, raise hell, praise Dale, but uh, it hasn't been enough to beat uh, Jason Denny. Well, let's go down to someone who hopes to win here tonight. Josh Altice finished second after the Tech Procedure last week in the ARCA Series feature. Josh, a career best run for you here in the ARCA Series. It seems like you've actually gotten a lot better over the last couple of races. Absolutely. I got to thank uh, Joey Gates and Spencer Boyd here, um, really coming out and helping me. So having a lot of fun. Haven't done this since I was young, so it's fun to get back out here and turn some laps for sure. So this racetrack here tonight, you've never run here before, correct? No, I haven't. So this place. It's very treacherous. It is a lot of fun to race on, though. What are your expectations for tonight? We're just going to get out there and uh, see how we can do. You know, we're coming off Darlington last week, so not sure if the Highlands going to be the way to go here, but uh, we're going to get out there and see what it is in practice. So Spencer Board and Joey Gase here tonight. Your driver coach is over there. What have they contributed to helping you uh, learn how to drive? Well, Spencer just kind of tells me to get up on the wheel. You know, he really just... Uh, Pretty much everything I did for the normal weekend. Um, just yells at me, get up on the wheel, driver coaching. Joey's more on the mechanical side, um, helping with, with setups and whatnot. So I'm um, really excited to have them both out here and uh, see what we can do tonight. Well, Josh Altus has a lot of people helping him out here tonight at the Iredell County Fairgrounds. Look for him to have a good run. Well, this is our throwback winner easily, and that's Brad Jeffords. And let's highlight him. He's finished second a bunch of times. Could tonight be his night? It could be. He's in the points. He's right there. This is a little bit more luck, Bob. Yeah, you got to love that Levi Garrett scheme on that thing. The old Jeff Rodine throwback, isn't it? It is the best looking card out here. It's almost a shame they're going to allow him to race it. The thing is beautiful. I want to pack a fat lift right now. Well, let's go down and talk to uh, Jason Denny, who's down with it. Guys down here in the old camel jacket for Jason Denny, throwing it back to when cigarettes were allowed to be plugged in racing. Jason, you got a really good shot of winning this championship here tonight, clinching it, so you don't even have to show up for the last race. Five wins this year. Your card has, I think, about six, right? Yeah, uh, I have five. We have six because uh, in January I got the flu, and you know how that goes. It wasn't very fun, and it wouldn't have been fun for me to been there. So we had Opadula get in. He won it for us, and we're here where we are now. Um, we had a great season this year. Um, we just come out here to have fun. Fair is fun. We didn't lose. We lost it last year, 
we missed tires big time last year. So, um, and then we come back out two days later and won the Friday night because we changed some stuff around. So, we brought out the old intercourse cart that we ran in the intercourse. Got the mixed body on it. So, I'm gonna come out here and try to mix up a little bit and hopefully run away with it again. I want to beat uh, Tim's record. So, yeah, we were just gonna bring that up. We have not seen a run in this Hearts Eight Track Cup Series like this since Tim Nye and Brandon GRP. So that puts you in a very elite company with that group in DNQ Racing. I mean, is this something we're going to see next year too? You guys going to go for another championship? Uh, we'll see what next year has to, what, what's to offer next year. Um, we might go another way next year. We might, we, it depends on uh, what the series is. So we'll definitely uh, try to do something next year, but we just need to, get this season finished before we even think about next year because uh, I really want to beat that seven. I want to get that seven wins in a season. I really wanted to go undefeated this year, but that didn't happen. So, you know, it happens. So next year, it might be something to look forward to. Jason Denny hopes that him and Christian Moody can battle it out here tonight, and he will be victorious going for that win record, guys. Well, good luck to Jason Denny. But coming up next, the Bud Heavy Series will take its shot at the fairgrounds. Mike, toss me a bush. Wow. Push. Push. All right, Jay-Z, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Bud Heavy Series. Caitlin Benj on the front row with Ryan London on the outside. We got C.J. Wilson and Ryan Richmond. In our next row, Nick Beatty and Caleb Clinton. Fourth row is made up of Adam Wilcox in the 61. Got that Richie Evans throwback tonight, and... Uh, the DNQ Butt Heavy Series, AKR and NKA Engine Package, 425, Maxis Pink and Blue. Uh, just like our Cup Series, just a little bit more to love. Yeah, again, very popular series. Any Friday or Saturday night in the Southeast, you'll find 10, 15 carts in a, uh, a class. Hopefully the numbers pick up here as we go on with DNQ because uh, it's a good package to run. The fat boys get a chance to shine. Ryan Richmond will have a CTTR in cart camera. Throwback nights for running throwback graphics uh, for this race here. And uh, you got to love the fairs. We have a nice crowd out here in the Red Dog <laughs> race uniform right there, worn by Travis with his wig. As we are underway, it looks like Adam Wilcox is already out of this event. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Tough luck. I would have loved to see his throwback scheme make it to the front tonight, uh, but that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Pretty, uh, pretty competitive field, although we don't have as many cards as we'd like to have in this series just yet. It's uh, seeming like it's got a lot of guys that are at least close together. It, yeah, it, it's very competitive racing as we got someone getting left reared, but they make it through uh, three and four okay with no issues. Um, track's been prepared well, too. If Jeremy keeps doing a good job, uh, people will come out. It's kind of like the field of dreams. You know, if you build it and it's smooth and not dusty, they will come. Well, we've got two beautiful intermediate style single file racing here on this racetrack already. And uh, the fans are getting what they paid for here. Uh, a beautiful race so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, who's that out front, Bob? Caitlin Benj drinking. Benj drinking. Uh, I'm funneling right now. I think she's a favorite to win the championship this season. Uh, she's got a couple of wins, but more than that, she just races smart. So uh, I know she's up there in the points in the, I think it's the Bush Series. In Bud Heavy, she's doing well tonight. Looks like she's got the tires on point, chassis working well. So you have some action coming through three and four. We're on board with Ryan Richmond here as he gets left reared, but seems to make it through as he turns down to the inside of the 114. Three, three wide, wide. Going into three. What the fuck? The Aqua Fresh Machine will make it through as Caleb Clinton Nard will make the best out of all that. He's got the double zero tonight for Buckshot Jones throwback. And another, uh, the two out there for C.J. Winslow got a Rusty Wallace throwback. And Clenard is wearing a very, very old fire suit that was his uncle's when he raced. So a lot of old racing shit is still out there and is uh, being worn tonight. As it should be, we need to celebrate the days of yore when you, you showed up hungover, your eyeballs bleeding from too much cheap beer, and you still had to get in that go-kart and sack up and try to put it P1. Today, they all have trainers and nutritionists. Throwback night's something we need. Yeah, definitely not in this division. There's no trainers. As uh, We're watching <laughs> Pickle and Ryan Richmond beat the shit out of each other as they go down the backstretch. It seems like it's that's the best way to pass here at the fair, isn't it? You get on the grape soda, you get on the fried chicken, and you just let the guy right in front of you just fucking have it. 
It, absolutely. It's, it's a fresh virgin surface, so to speak. Uh, they're, the line's right around the bottom. You're not going to get two grooves here, so you just use that chrome horn and move them right the fuck out the way. Caitlin Benage checked out. I don't think anybody's going to get there until we have the five to go caution. Uh, Pickle looks like he's picking it up, though, a little bit. He started on the outside of the front row, and uh, him and Ryan Richmond beating the shit out of each other, but he's uh, making his way to the front. Nick Beatty running second, though, and he has won a heavy race before this year, so good run for him as well. We'll go side by side so you won't miss a thing. Chris, work. cold refreshments. It's what Bush is known for. What are you known for? Practical jokes. Uh-huh. Dang it. Bush. The DNQ Dirt Series is brought to you by ARCA, Pink Magic Tire Prep by Jamie Knopf. Pick up Pink Magic at any DNQ event. And by Bush Beer, cold, crisp, and refreshing. Also by Hearts HVAC. Call Hearts HVAC for any of your heating and cooling needs. And by Lee Two Real Estate Group of Charlotte, North Carolina. Call Lee Two Real Estate if you're interested in buying or selling any piece of real estate. I gotta tell you, Lee Two, one of those big sponsors that we get on uh, to do some of these events, and they are definitely racers. And let's not forget about Carroll Tractor and Trailer Repair. If you have any trailer issues, if you've got a race team out there and your trailer's broken down, call them. Welcome back to the Aradale County Fairgrounds here in Troutman, North Carolina, the Lead to Real Estate Throwback Night, and we are watching Binge Drinking leading this field as Beatty's starting to fall back to Clenard a little bit. And, uh, man, you gotta you got to love Lead to Real Estate here. They do a lot for us. And uh, they did the rental series, and we've got another invitational all-star race coming up for those guys, but just pure racers, just like everybody here tonight. Yeah, you know, racing is a very small community, and we need the support of everyone involved to make things happen. And thanks to great people like Lead to Real Estate, DNQ can put on an awesome series with an awesome race surface and offer some competitive purses. Yeah, they, they threw some money at uh, some of the features tonight. $50 added to this one, 100 to the Bush Series race. And uh, same thing with Carroll Tractor and Trailer Repair. They added some money to the purses tonight just to give a little extra boost here. And everybody loves this fair. Right outside this racetrack, Jay-Z, we, we go out and you see great people watching. I mean, Walmart doesn't have shit on this place. You know, there's more cotton candies out there than there are teeth. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> we got the guys in the wolf t-shirt tank tops with their bellies sticking out, their worn out white New Balances. You got the kids on the leashes with their parents. As the yellow's out here, I think it's the five to go, Bob. It is the five to go caution when they're going to line up back up here. Ben's drinking is nobody has any shit for, but you know what I love about the fair is we're going back under green. You got somebody who wins a goldfish, and that thing dies like three days later. It's like death row when you get one on one of those things. Those sad things. You almost feel like you're going to be able to save it. Does uh, uh, looks like Caitlin Bench is getting a little bit of competition, oh, man. but uh, she saves it. Nick Beatty got pretty close to a rear bumper. It's the closest anybody's been to a bumper there tonight. Uh, we'll see if Clenard has anything for Beatty. He was running him down, so see if he can pass him, but only a few laps to go in this race. Yeah, Clenard oh. runs all over the southeast as he gets inside of Beatty, and it looks like he's going to be able to complete the move as we go into one, into one here. Oh, yeah. He'll make the pass there. It's, he's not going to have enough time to get the bend unless he gets a caution. He should have just dumped him and then got a caution, but uh, not many laps to go in this thing. Two to go for Ben's drinking, and... Uh, this will be our first butt heavy win if she can get it. Yeah, she's making all these guys call Kaler Tractor and Trailer Repair to buy a new rig. She's so fast, she's going to make them all sell it. So then you just put it on the trailer and get it out of here. White flag in the air for Caitlin Benz, and she is going to come around the corner and dominate this feature here tonight. Our first butt heavy win. That was uh, probably one of the most boring fucking races we had all night. Yeah. 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 Bummer. It's, it's tough to find shit to talk about. Caleb Klinner in his badass fire suit from back in the day came home second in the butt heavy feature. Caleb, it's a pretty good race for you here tonight. Yeah, I ate my cornbread this morning, watched out for a lot of baby seals, and had to use the billy club a couple times, but first time here, can't complain with second. Caleb Klinner comes home second in tonight's butt heavy feature. Good old fashioned ass beating, as we like to say. Great, great card here tonight. Your first butt heavy win. Yeah, uh, Racing at this place is a lot of fun. It's just, it's really hard on you. And, you know, I used to can't overdrive it. And um, we were so close right there then. I was just trying to really hit my marks and make sure I didn't mess up. Um, I like to thank Mike Hartz and uh, Eddie Mishu and Phantom Racing Chassis and everybody back at the shop and everybody that makes this possible. Elite 2 Real Estate tonight gave you an extra $50 for the win. 
This gives you great momentum, and you know what your tires need to be for this bush race here later tonight. Yeah, that predator stuff is a whole different deal, but um, it's a lot of fun still, and um, I'm leading the points in that, so we just got a good, good finish, and um, I should be able to bring home the championship in there. She's off to a great start, and she's almost at a championship in the DNQ Bush Series. Great job by Caitlin Benz tonight, guys. Well, Caitlin Benz celebrates in the victory lane, and as she does that, the DNQ Bush Series or the DNQ Arca Series cards are rolling out to the grid. Coming up next, it is the Body Bag 30. Hi, I'm Boston Reed broker owner at Lead2 Real Estate Group in Charlotte. We know that when you consider selling your home, you have two questions. How much will my home sell for today? And what agent will sell my home for the maximum price with the least hassle in the shortest amount of time? At Lead2, we know where the buyers are and how they search for a home. Today's tech-savvy home buyers are searching on the most popular real estate websites. Buyers may see hundreds of photos before they ever decide to see a property in person. We ensure that your property gets accurate information and maximum exposure on sites such as Realtor.com, Zillow, and Trulia. Get in touch with us. We would love the opportunity to come out, meet you, and show you how we can help get your home marketed and sold. Welcome back to Troutman, North Carolina. Some beautiful scenic shots. They are definitely of the fair and not ripped off of YouTube at all from any other fair across the country. These are live from the fair. Totally didn't rip that off. But we are getting ready to go Arca Series racing here from the Iredell County Fairgrounds. Let's take a look at the starting lineup. Tony Barkman on the pole with Jared Brooks on the outside pole. Brad Jeffers and Shane Vaughn on the second row. Tony Shirkin, David Markham, who ran very well here in the past, looking to get a win. Jonathan Mabe and Nick Barkham are on the fourth row. Chris Page and Josh Altus, two rookies in the next row. Good pushback. Brandon Thank Searcy you. and John Gerald, who surprisingly is up there in the points this season. Tom Markham and Michael Cox. J.D. Sedberry and Jeff Beaver. We got a Beaver and a Cox in this race. DNQ Arca Pink Magic Series Amateur Talent 390 mandated gear, Max's pink and blue tires. Josh Altus will have an in cart camera for tonight, the CTTR in cart camera, along with Ronnie Shirk. A lot of in cart cameras for this one here. Uh, yeah, a couple that we'll go gonna... to later in the event. It's going to be a good show as we're on board here with David Markham, who's won a few races in the past and always does well, so let's keep an eye on this in cars and like goes on. Yeah, th this race is going to be a little bit more interesting here tonight as Tony Barkman has an in-car camera as well. I got a feeling the Predator races are really going to show um, a little bit more of the roughness we were talking about earlier here as we are getting ready to go green. Here we go. Tony Barkman, his first pole of his career, and if it's not, I don't give a shit. I just said it was, so there you go. Oh, yeah, we're piling this shit down into one already. Nick yeah, Barcombe's involved. Par, par for the course here, Bob. As we get a slow-mo, looks like they just all stack up. Someone gets left rear, runs over a right front, and everyone just spins to try to avoid it. You know, we didn't see this in the first features. We're on board with David Markham. He gets locked up pretty quick there. <laughs> I think that's the uh, commentator curse right there. We say, watch that on board, and you get shit can turn one. Josh Altus around here again. I don't know what happened. Uh, we had guys jumping each other on the side. You can't run people down that far, but hey, it happens. That's uh, that's Arca. Yeah, Beaver that's almost the the hit game. Cox there. Did you see that? I, I did. There was definitely some <laughs> friction and uh, a little spark there I saw between them. There's so we'll, friction we'll between see if the Cox racing remains stiff between the two. Cox is right in front of Beaver right now as they're on track <laughs> to go back green. <laughs> And, uh, man, they're all over the place again, yeah. Bob. This is typical of Arca, but this is why the fans sit in the stands. The stands. This is what they want to see at the fair. They're three wide. Shane Vaughn, Cox, and Markham. Vaughn's, Vaughn thought a lot better of that as he should have. His, oh, Cox all the way up the racetrack. That was, man, that was a hard rub on Cox there, so uh, <laughs> we'll see how, how he comes out of this. Cox made slight contact with the wall there, didn't he? 
He sure did. Uh, you, know, you can't run the point in there too deep and break it all down. It hurts, believe me, I know. Um, but it looks like he came out okay so far as Gerald's hung on the outside, and we got drivers going underneath him. Well, with John Kinder not here tonight, that's going to open the points up for uh, some of these guys. So if Brad Jeffords has a really good race here tonight, the points are going to be really close going into the final race of the year. And uh, we're on board with Josh Altis as he's a little bit out of the groove, and he's got Shirk on his inside. Yeah, I think uh, Altis needed to wipe a few more coats of that pink magic on the outside of the tires because that right front has given up the ghost right now, and he can't turn for shit. This place is like Martinsville. you got one groove, and you better stay on the bottom, otherwise you're going to get trained. Yeah, yeah, Cox and Beaver definitely uh, definitely involved in the trains here at the fair as we see Markham uh, gaining another spot out there on the racetrack. David Markham has run pretty well here. His old man almost won the race here last year in the uh, Cup Series. Let's go back on board with Altus, who is right in the middle of this battle. And you watch it, I mean, you just you got to stay on the bottom. And you know what? Uh, whoever has the best tires here tonight has pretty much got it locked in. And the same thing with any other dirt race, but maybe a little bit more here tonight. Yeah, and maybe that's where some of the guys that typically run fourth, fifth, and sixth, maybe someone like a, a Cox or a, a Mabe, something like that, uh, because it's a new surface, no one knows what the, the magic prescription is. So maybe they hit those tires just right, and they're in the front running away with it. Towards the back of the field, the back's getting ready to get lapped. Uh, Jared Brooks, who has won an IROC series race before, we let him run ARCA for some reason, uh, is out here leading this field right now. He's here with James Stanley Jr. They're uh, some Phantom guys. They're big-time Phantom guys. And uh, he's checked out pretty far from the rest of the field here as we look at uh, Ronnie Shirk and Barkman having decent runs tonight. Yeah, there's some small groups out there. You see Brett, Brad Jeffers get to the middle there in that beautiful Levi Garrett cart. Um, oh, Sedbury's around, around off of four, and that's going to bring out a caution. Everybody's got their hands up. That is, a, that is a bad place to be when you spin out. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, well, you got nothing but rear brake in this thing, so. Yeah, and there's there's nowhere to go. That groove really gets narrow coming off the corner, so if someone spins and is sitting right in it, you got nowhere to go. Sedbury hit the gas too hard, and he fucking spun that bitch out. Spun the wheels. Can't handle the horsepower. No, you can't. These things are pretty serious, man. <laughs> David Barkham not looking ahead of himself about fucking killed everybody. Man, uh, Arca, the, the key is to look <laughs> one foot off your bumper and not see everything else. That you, seems to be the yeah. the formula for the series. Just drive off the hood pins all fucking night. Green flag, <laughs> we're back underway. You know, you can have spotters in DNQ. Like, we tell everybody you can have radios. So, I mean... It's not that expensive to go buy fucking walkie-talkies and plug a headset. No, a little one-way radio costs you 60 bucks out of your pocket. You're good to go. But again, it's budget racing. They'd rather spend the money in a few more cases of beer than proper safety. You're fucking right, dude. And it looks like they've had about 15 as they're out here racing right now. Three and four wide. Shane Vaughn's doing a good job. His uh, first DNQ start here tonight. He went all the way to the back. He's got that Jamie Knopf body on that thing. And... Uh, Looks like he's doing fairly well so far as we go on board with Ronnie Shirk. Yeah, that, that cart looks good. It's running straight. He's not pushing up off the corner. And, you know, Shirk's been getting his shit together slowly each week, too. Each race he comes out, he's got a little bit more speed, makes a little bit better decisions, and, you know, getting a little bit more bush and a little less arca every time he comes out. You know, you got to run these things, and it's just like anything else in racing. you got to run these things all the freaking time to be that good at it. And down here in the southeast, it's you got guys that do this all the time, and they're basically professionals at it. Karting's a lot like fucking. You know, the first time you do it, you're terrible at it. It's three pumps in a pullout, and you, you kind of blush afterwards. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But by the time you do it a few times, you get the motion of the ocean, you get that stroke growing deep, and all of a sudden, you're 15 cart legs out in front, putting a hurt on the field, whipping that dick out in victory lane. Yeah. So it, you're right. It just takes that experience. That's yeah, all. Yeah, you just, and then before you know it, you're beating Beaver and Cox. All day. All day. All day. <laughs> Red, <Yeah>. swollen, <laughs> abused, you know? <laughs> David Markham having a good run, but it's all been Jared Brooks so far. Uh, Brad Jeffords as well. Jeffords is doing what he needs to do here to win a championship, and that is finish well tonight. If he can get in within that 50-point range at the end of the season and for the last <laughs> race of the year, he'll have a shot at winning his championship against Kinder. Yeah, you know, bad break for Kinder there. I know he got hurt a couple races ago. And he hasn't been able to go, but that uh, hasn't uh, slowed Jeffords down. Uh, he's just doing what he needs to do as Markham gets to the back bumper 
And uh, that Knopf curves down on the inside. Shane Vaughn has come all the way from the back of the field, now making his way back up to the front. Just drove by David Markham. He's getting ready to drive by Brad Jeffords and hunt down Jared Brooks. As the caution is out, Ronnie Shirk. Damn. Oh, Cox destroyed the right side of that thing. Let's go on board with uh, Ronnie and see what happened here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. that's a good one. He fucking destroyed the wall. Cox got hit. Pretty Cox. Good too. Shirk sure got pounded by the big cock that spun out. <laughs> Oof. One more time. I don't, you know, we were just talking about how good he was doing. You know, I think he just caught a little bit too much of the apron down there with that berms cut into the racetrack. I think he just unloaded the go-kart and sent him straight to the outside. Yeah, I don't know how Cox wrecked, but he wrecked a shit ton. I, you just look at that right side nerf bar. It was up there pretty high as we are back underway. Oh, yeah. That orange car, those Phantom boys are starting to sort oh. themselves out and get out front. Yes, As they I say are. that, he gets pushed out wide. Yeah, Vaughn that's that's the tough part to about fifth. this play. Oh, Jeffers just got run down in the infield by Jared Brooks. Just trying to protect. Okay. Look at that. See, Jeffers is doing what he needs to do. He's got Brooks looking over his left shoulder. He's starting to sweat. And Jeffers is sitting there, balls deep, doing everything he needs to do to try to win this race. So do you think uh, Brooks burned his shit up early in this race? Or what? why is he starting to fall back so hard? I think we just got one more heat cycle on these tires of that last caution, uh, you know, that affects how the prep works, especially with his outside wipes, as we got our uh, a five to go caution, Bob. Yep, caution is out. Five laps to go. It'll be pretty exciting here to see if Jared Brooks can hold off Brad Jeffords. And like you said, you get another heat cycle on those tires. It's a little bit tougher as uh, Josh Altus took the top, which, uh, I, you know what, if you're that far back where he was, you may as well give it a shot, see if you can get down as we are back under green flag conditions. Can he hold them off? Jeffers is right there in the oh, back bumper. He's got a nose underneath him. He's Brooks is getting now. challenged for the lead. There it is, three wide for the lead. Holy fuck, that'll never work. Jeffers to the lead, Jared Brooks in second, and now Brooks has to protect the bottom even more because if he just gets past now, he'll go back to 15th. Jeffers, that wheeling son of a bitch, he puts it P1. He's still out in front. He just has to make sure he doesn't put a wheel wrong because Brooks is right there. Brooks is still fast. Vaughn and Markham battle it out, but only a few laps to go. Can Brad Jeffers get his first win? I hope so. I think he's got the biggest boner you can imagine right now. Doesn't know what he's doing out front. It's like the first time a, a, your, your, the girl takes her shirts off and you, you see her boobs. You don't really know what to do with it. You're just really happy to be there. You know what I mean? White flag in the air for Brad Jeffords. And, uh, oh, Brad Jeffords has a problem. The whole field stacks up. Vaughn, Brooks, they all make a mess. Markham's stuck. Brandon Searcy coming out of turn four is going to steal this friggin' win. Unbelievable. Woo! I wonder what happened Bob, to Jeffords. Man, that sucks. I've... Let's go down to our third place finisher. Ronnie Shirk tested the durability of the wall over here off of turn four. You come home third. How the hell did that happen? I have no clue. I uh, started the tail on the uh, restart, and, uh, five to go. I chose the inside. They wadded it up on the white flag lap and pretty much came to a stop out of turn two i just kept digging no. <laughs> third, man. this is a crazy race to watch i've never i thought brad jefferson's gonna his first ever win he has some sort of issue the whole field stacks up but overall though a good points not for you yeah it definitely definitely uh, I, i'm fifth in points right now it's not going to be much of a, a help for me but it might be for john uh to get this championship for the panda express Ronnie Shore comes home third tonight in the Arca Series feature. Shane Vaughn finishes second here tonight. Shane, that was a shit show at the end. Brad Jeffords had some sort of issue, and you were just riding around there, and you end up with a second place finish. Pretty good night. Yeah, lucky, I got shit at the beginning of the race. He put me in the rear, so I fought back and finished second. I can't complain. What was it like driving out here tonight with a very large field of go karts? This is my first time ever being here, so the track's all right. It's a little rough on that side, but yeah. <laughs> it's a good track, though. Second place finish tonight here in the oh. Brandon Searcy down here in victory lane at the fair. We did not think, Brandon, you were going to win this race at all. Brad Jeffords had some sort of issue there in the last lap because a big melee there. You end up with the victory. I don't know what happened. It was all that man right there. Uh, first time DNQ, second time here at fairgrounds. But just since the last time I was Friday night, I didn't know what I was doing. Tonight I just 
went out there and my ass off, man. That's all it took. Talk about this racetrack here. It is very difficult to run a good race here at this racetrack. You can't overdrive your corners. You got to be patient. What was it like behind the seat? Oh, man, just from my seat, it's like a, a legend car. I'm going in there hard on the gas, a little bit of braking, back on the gas, pulling out the corner like that, man. Nothing like it. Nothing like it at all. Favorite track. You get this vintage trophy from Mike McLaughlin. This is his uh, Motorama not April 1970 as a throwback night trophy. It's pretty badass, isn't it? That's awesome. I like that a lot, man. First trophy out here. First trophy for flat carts. I just started flat carts. My sixth race out here, so ever in flat carts. So. Brandon Cersei takes home some extra $50 from Ronnie Carroll and from Lee 2 Real Estate. Yeah. Always good to hear from a first-time winner, even though he is a peasant. Brandon Searcy has taken home the win. Coming up next, it is the DNQ Cup Series feature race. We'll be right back after this message. Kansas wins again. He's not even human. He's like a robot. Why? Because he always wins. Need another Kansas. Copy that. He's a robot. A winning robot. Walkie talkies get it done. Next hell. All right, Jay-Z, let's take a look at the Cup Series starting lineup. Jason Denny looking for that championship with a win. LJ McClear on the outside row. We've got Waylon Hicks and Caleb Clinter on the second row. Next row, Kevin Lively and Andrew Garris. Ryan Richmond and uh, doing it for Dale, Christian Moody. Curtis Markham and Josh Long will be your next row. Alex Ripstein and Scotty Everham in the deuce. Hearts HVAC cooling, heating and cooling series. This is uh, the same rules as Bud Heavy, but just three nights. So, uh, you know, people can add some extra weight to race or not. LJ McCleary has an onboard camera for tonight. The Hardy is inboard camera. I love how LJ McCleary stays in the throwback mindset. Always <laughs> hungover, always got his foot through the floor. I admire that about the son of a bitch. Yeah, it looks like Kevin Lively already has an issue. He's parked off as uh, we are under green. And can, does anybody, after we watched Caitlin Bend run so well, I highly doubt anybody has anything for Denny tonight, but we'll see. Yeah, Denny's got this. Uh, uh, Cup Series package figured out. Uh, Hearts has been paying him a lot of money this season for taking home these wins. You know what? Here at, uh, as Bill Chester would like to say, oh my God, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, Moody and we're four just wide. Doored Hicks. Four wide getting in the corner right there. Back to three wide. These cup restarts are out of control. Everyone, everyone knows you've got to get in position. You've got to be in the bottom. They're just turning down on one another, MFing one another. No one gives a shit. They're just trying to get to the bottom. So you say you got to be a power bottom here tonight. Oh, absolutely. I, I think we need to talk to Cox about that. He'll be able to tell us for sure. <laughs> Christian Moody, no gloves out here tonight. I thought he was running the ARCA feature. McCleary got shuffled back really far. We'll see if he can make his way back up through the field. The Matt Kenseth of DNQ, I'm sure he'll be able to do it. Yeah, he's a vet. He knows the, the long game with the tires. He knows what kind of inside roll to have. And uh, he can usually keep it pretty clean as long as people aren't piling into him from behind. So uh, I look for him to make a couple more moves here. Already making his way up towards the front, but all this is way behind Jason Denny, who's already checked out pretty far on this field. Yeah, that's the whole thing, man. When, when second and third place start getting together and shit canning one another, Denny just checks out, and he's so fast, they're not going to run him down. So oh, I'm messing around. Oh, one someone goes now. over. Waylon Hicks goes for a flip down the front stretch, and uh, we've we've definitely seen this before. Not happy with somebody. No, it's it's a damn shame here. You got to have a oh, little respect. Oh, we got a guy on the racetrack. Oh yeah, this happens every year here. There's always a fight here at the fair. Waylon Hicks not happy with Ryan Richmond. Came down to let him know. Here come the cops. You know, this is why I love the fair, Bob. You got meth, you got people fist fighting on the racetrack. The cops gotta come in. That's how important a DNQ win is here. They're throwing haymakers here on the racetrack. Let's see what happened. Richmond going down the front stretch. Oh my God, he just turned right on him pretty good. That was pretty shitty, man. Uh, you know, I don't think uh, Wilcox is, uh, or is that Hicks there, is gonna be inviting him to his birthday party anytime soon. That was a kind of a shitty move, man. 
Yeah, we caught up with Hicks. Let's see what he's got All to right, say. What happened up there? I don't know. I, he come under me. I looked at him down, going down the straightaway, and he looked dead at me and turned right and run me up the wall. Are you flew okay? me down the back stretch. Yeah, nah, I'm good. That's all right. He'll get his. I promise you, he's going to get his. Sorry, Waylon. Bad night. Tough break for Waylon Hicks. He went for a hell of a flip and uh, probably didn't really deserve it, but Richmond let him have it. Street justice here in DNQ Karting Series. Green flag, we're back underway, and we know that if Hicks comes to another DNQ event, Ryan Richmond better make sure he brings a pair of seat belts. Well, I just hope Hicks wears his own shirt again. That's pretty badass, man. I like that. <laughs> Curtis Markham around off of three and four. He'll get her back going. Let's go on board with LJ McCleary, who is all the way at the back and uh, has slowly made his way back up through this field. And what, how old is that tack, you think, on that thing there? Is it, he's turning 300 RPM? I think that is the 1999 special right there. Uh, you know, the, the Bud Ice equivalent or the, the Jinko jeans, maybe. You know, it's uh, it's been around for a while. I, I bet there's a six that's supposed to be in front. At least I'd hope. Maybe maybe he's turned that bitch seven. They, they do a lot of engine work over there from McCleary. So. Yeah. These, these clones are getting kind of crazy, man. I hear reports of people running... Uh, eight grand with these things now at certain at some of the big tracks because of the way the uh, uh, the heads are ported for AKRA and yeah. the way they're wink wink yep. allegedly not ported but ported for NKA as the uh, uh, Tim Richmond to throw back uh, uh, not Tim Richmond uh, Richie Evans throwback yep. has turned around there a little bit yeah Andrew it's Garris fun. got into Josh Long there and Scotty Evernham Alex Ripstein racing each other yeah that's you know that's the problem with some of the predator series stuff they they just take an inch take an inch and these engine builders keep making money off of it and before you know it you have another clone series they pick another engine they start all over again from box stock so it's just you know the Rinse way to keep repeat. the money down in the predator series is just to enforce that it has to be stock and uh, you know don't give them an inch and that's kind of what we're doing here and, and that's a good thing. It keeps people honest here. It sucks taking wins away in the, the tech shed, but uh, you know what you got to do. You know what's legal. Don't fuck around. Looks like LG McCleary is going to make a run for this uh, lead here, and he was all the way at the back, and Jason Denny is fucking terrible in traffic, so he's trying to get by him. Yeah, again, you got to be a bottom feeder here. You got to be that power bottom. You can't go to the top side or, or get behind, so... Uh, Dirty Denny right there is getting all he can handle from the wily veteran LJ McCleary. You know, I don't think I've seen LJ really punt anybody since I've been racing with him and watching him race as we're on board with him. He is truly a gentleman racer and doesn't really move people. Uh, do you think Denny knows that, though? Do you think he knows that as long as he keeps his car in the bottom, uh, McCleary is not going to move him out of the way? I don't know. I'd fucking move his ass for a fair one. It don't matter. Yeah, Hell yeah, I, I want that hardware in my mantle, baby. I mean, he might, but who knows? Oh, man. Does, does any of this racing even matter back here? I mean, we got Moody and we got Clinton <laughs> running one another down. And I know both of those gentlemen do a lot of racing all over the southeast. So uh, that, that's why it's kind of surprising to me that someone like Denny is just running away with it. Because those two guys are no slouches either. They know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, but Denny is just, uh, you know, the chosen one this season. He's the LeBron James. He's the... Uh, uh, you know, Lewis Hamilton, whatever you want to call it, he's just running away with the show. Yes, he is. And, you know, uh, we thought Christian Moody might be a little bit better here tonight. He's struggling a little bit. Past winner here at the fair. But he's got to win this year, too. Um, you know, I think the only race that uh, Denny didn't win was AAR, which he was really close to, and then uh, the intercourse, which uh, Christian Moody took home. But I'll tell you what, this Mike Hartz puts a lot into this team as he calls him his out five to go, thank God. But Mike Hartz does a really good job with tires, and I think that's their their number one their number one uh, thing that they've got going for them. As we're getting ready to go yeah. green with five laps to go. Looks like Clinter uh, picked the outside, and he's uh, trying to make it work. We get shuffled back to fourth. Well, that he's going to lose another spot move. and go back to fifth. <laughs> what a great move. Uh, let's go on board McCleary. Let's see if he can fucking win this bitch. He's going to have to sack up. He, uh, it doesn't look like he can. He's turned the wheel a little bit too much, and Denny's just planted. Yeah, Denny's about a half a cart length up, cart length up, running some momentum, rolling some speed through the middle, where McCleary seems to be clipping that inside berm to try to help unload the cart. Uh, but it's also slowing him down, and uh, Denny's beating him center off. Yeah, we're getting closer here. Four or three laps to go, and uh, McCleary... If he's going to make a move on Denny, he's just going to ride to the last lap, uh, if I had to guess. There it yeah, is. He's getting, getting there. 
you can't punt him with two to go. You got to punt with the one to go, so he can't can't get back to your bumper. He's, he's there. Looking it's down just the a matter inside. of if he can actually make the move on him. It's tough. Denny's not to the uh, you know, putting a wheel wrong. Not gonna do it. Jason Denny is gonna take on the fair win, but that was freaking close. Got to give it to McLeary. Christian Moody drove his dick off to finish third here tonight at the fair. Just didn't have a good enough piece to win, but he had a good piece no matter what. I mean, yeah, I had a great piece tonight and had amazing tires and had an amazing setup. Uh, I guess I just need to go online and buy some aftermarket parts. <laughs> Christian Moody got that shit talking on lock tonight. <laughs> LJ McCleary getting ready to get in his bush cart for the bush race. He had a really good race here tonight in the Cups, a hard to HVAC Cup Series race presented by Lee 2 Real Estate. I'll tell you what, I thought you may have something for him there. You got under him, just couldn't complete the pass. Huh? No, about where I'd get the run, he was still on the bottom of the track and he'd just kill it. So uh, I think we definitely fired off better after that five to go restart than he did. Uh, cart really came alive at those five laps at the end there. Now you, you ran a mini cup the other night, ran really well in that. Yep. Did you win that race? No, we finished second. <laughs> uh, it, those are a blast to drive. I'm, I'm sure it definitely helps me around here. I've, uh, I think well, we ran Friday too, so uh, we're gonna have quite a few laps around this place before the week's over. What is it about this race track that you love the most? Uh, just the, uh, I love the short tracks. The, the more of the finesse, it seems like you, you can roll the, roll the center better, you know, rather than just manhandle it around there. Uh, I wish we'd go to these small places all the time. Down here in Victory Lane, Jason Denny once again. That's number six on the year, correct? Oh yeah, it's six on the year. So we got one more, we got Tim Nine in the books. So we're looking forward to that one. Well, this pretty much all clinched your championship too down here. You're the Winston Cup uh, Hearts HVAC champion. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it's been a long, it's been a long year. We've been a great year. You know, we got to thank Mike Hartz for everything he does. He puts on the whole show. Uh, I think he even helps with all the racing we do here, putting up money for it. So, and Ed miss you, Eddie miss you, Phantom. Uh, I think we've run. Yeah, we brought the mix, the mix baby out tonight because we run that at Intercourse. So you know, we brought the mix baby out. They don't look good, but it's fast. So that's all we, that's all we need. Um, we got a lot of support from a lot of people. We got Caitlin in the shop, you know, working on everything. Uh, you know, Mike Benj. We got Darryl Mike Hartz. Daryl Fisher's a big help. Like no one knows this. This program probably wouldn't be where it's at without Daryl. Daryl, he's the only. He's a guy that comes to the track every week, no matter what. No one sees him. So there's a lot of guys here that help you with this cart. You've clinched a championship. Now you get to go to Millbridge in October and basically just be ready to celebrate with everybody there. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, like I said, we're not celebrating yet until we get to seventh. So, yeah. Jason Denny, good enough is never good enough for Jason Denny, and he is your winner here tonight in the Iredell County Fairgrounds. Well, the Cup Series feature is over. Coming up next, it is the final race, the BNQ Bush Series. Out here, man isn't measured by where he started. Starting lineup, Rob Bates on the pole, James Stanley on the outside pole for the DQ Bush. Jared Brooks who had a strong one earlier tonight and LJ McCleary, P2 in our last race. David Markham and John Jarrell were rocking those gargoyles. Caitlin, Ben's drinking my favorite and Adam Wilcox. Shane Vaughn and Mike Melton in the next row. Jonathan May and J.D. Sedberry. Eagle Bush Series, Predators, 390 weight, Max is pink and blue. There is a gear rule for this series. It is on dnqseries.com. Don't send me any more messages asking me what the fucking gear rule is for any of these restaurants. Just go to dnqseries.com and you will find it. There, LJ McClure we kept the camera on his helmet for tonight. He just got done running that cup race, and he is getting ready to sack up and run this Bush feature. He knows what it's going to take to win. He was out there just 10 minutes ago as the green flag flies. And they're charging down to turn one. Rob Bates has had a really good season, and he didn't. Oh, John Gerald goes around. We stay green now. No, we don't. Maybe we do. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Huh? We're green. Okay. We're green still. We're green. We got a curfew here at the fair. I mean, we got to be done around nine o'clock. So, kind of, you know, unless there's somebody 
flip down on the front stretch and we're not throwing the caution as we're watching uh, the SS Greenlight car back here racing with um, Jimmy Mean shit back here all running each other pretty hard. Well, I mean, it makes sense, Bob. I mean, some of these back markers spin and want to sit there and hold the brake hoping to get a caution, thinking that uh, they're going to... Um, you know, make it back to the front. They're just not. So uh, I think the, the is it Kyle still flagging tonight? Uh, McGowan? No, he could not make this race. He had a tender obligation. Oh, that'll happen. He's got a great box, you know. But uh, yeah, he does have a. Great uh, but uh, <laughs> you know, they they don't want to throw the flag and bunch the whole field up for some jerk in the back who's got a nose cone falling off and can barely read and count to ten. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm surprised that L.J. McCleary and James Stanley have been a. Uh, McCleary's all over Stanley right now. Is that because he was just driving a faster cart and he was got used to the speed and now he's slowing down? I wouldn't be surprised as he goes for the lead. He's P1 right now, and that Phantom Machine comes back down on the inside, retakes the first spot. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you know, McCleary took the tires off the other go-kart, uh, washed them, put a fresh wipe on them, put them right back on this piece because he had a lot of roll speed in that last race. He's just trying to chase down one of Phantom's best and brightest. You know what's funny is I'm sure James Stanley has an updated Phantom chassis and LJ McCleary's got an old piece of shit that's been sitting in his garage for like five years. That's, Maybe even longer. That's what's so freaking good. McCleary is like that fat guy at the bar that's loud and obnoxious but still keeps pulling pussy out of the place, right? It shouldn't work, but he's got it <laughs> down pat. He's got the system in place. He knows what works. I'll tell you what, we back in, you know, years ago, we ran those modified engines. I had an old... 1999 legend chassis or whatever it was and that thing would haul ass it had about 42 percent cross in it but it was fast yeah he's got it all figured out you know he's got uh, stanley's got uh, phantom's best and brightest on there as someone noses the wall on the, the right front sedbury knocked the shit out of the wall there off of two and uh that's a that's a common wreck area we saw somebody flip down there last year getting ready to go back read not many people took the top on that restart uh i don't know why if you're in the back, take a shot and go to the outside. What do you got to lose at that point? Yeah, if you're the 40, you just spun out. Go to the top. And uh, this is a beautiful view as you see Markham. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, that wall. That wall is so close. And you come here at the fair, and it's just like, uh, you know, you don't know who's going to murder something when they come out here and race it. You just get out of that groove a little bit here, and you are on yeah, ice. That wall sneaks up on you, especially these guys that struggle with a little bit of talent. Maybe some of these Arca guys that try to creep up to the Bush series and keep up with a guy like Cleary or uh, a Stanley. Uh, they struggle with that wall, and they knock it the fuck down. Especially when you're starting on the outside on the restarts. I mean, you are already usually have somebody cleaning it off for you that's getting last, but right there you don't. So you're kind of screwed. Well, Bob, I also want to point out as the carts go by here, you can see a real heavy layer of that angel dust. That you can get real fucked up on if you oh, put yeah. that right rear, that right front in it, and then you don't know what's going on. You end up upside, end up upside down on the front stretch uh, like Hicks did earlier tonight. But, uh, man, McCleary's sitting there stalking P2, trying to get it done. Uh, Brooks is running a little bit farther back than I expected him to. I don't know if he got all fucked up on a different set of tires or what, but uh, uh, the leader's there, and is that, uh, who's that in third place there? I've seen oh. him around before. That's Rob Bates. That's uh, Sedbury, again, can't handle the horsepower. He uh, got in the gas too early. I think someone needs to, Wasn't fag foot someone needs to teach uh, Sedbury about so. tire prep. Uh, have him give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> Green flag are back underway, and for those at home that, that don't really race it as we had a jumped restart, see that dust out there. You'll see the shiny stuff, and then it gets really darker out there. If you just barely drive in that, you're on ice at that point. Just imagine that just being ice, and you have zero control of what's going on. As you'll see, like all these guys up here, they're in it. And it takes a corner or so to get those tires cleaned off again. So Markham just uh, fucked himself. As McCleary's here right on the back bumper of Stanley, giving him a shot, letting him know he's right there. I tell you, LJ McCleary, he comes out here in some old shit, and he's out here running with some of the best, and uh, he's going to try to make the move on Stanley, and he is going to do it. He is our new leader, LJ McCleary. Look at him, and he had the presence of mind to check up a little bit, make sure he didn't push up off the corner, and wouldn't let Stanley show him a nose. McCleary, the wily veteran, this guy fucks. The McCleary doesn't have a digital dash. He's got an old auto, auto meter tack. He's got a 1999 Hopkins chassis. 
standard points, and he is out here leading this race right Dude's now. checking camber with a level on the outside of the rims. You know what I mean? He And he's still <laughs> getting it done. Holy shit. We have got a shit show back here. Mike Melton, John Gerald, Wilcox. Oh, yeah. Back of the field caution. De as Denny Hamlin put it, these meaningless people in the back of the field. It's, it's the peasantry that makes the show at the fair, Bob. <laughs> Well, here we go, getting ready to go back green. I love that shot right there. Green flag are back underway. McCleary leads the field as they head down into one. Can he hold off Stanley and Bates? I think he can. McCleary's got a real fast freaking go-kart tonight. He hasn't put a wheel wrong in the last 25, 30 laps or so between the last two heats. Uh, I bet you Stanley's fuming in his helmet right now wondering who this guy is that's stomping my ass with his 15-year-old go-kart. Uh, dude, LJ McCleary is a talented driver. There is no doubt about it. He is very good as there's our caution. I believe that, that is our five to go, and we're getting ready to go. Five laps to go in this race. Can LJ McCleary hold off Stanley to win this? Mark him. Ballsy and aggressive, taking the outside. Let's see if he can stay out of that angel does. As McCleary gets moved up off the bottom, Stanley to the inside. Stanley P1 as they bang doors. Yeah, they do. They bang doors as they go down the front stretch. Stanley's in this thing, and oh, David Markham goes around getting into the corner. Got hung on that high side. Nothing you can do, and uh, we go back for a replay here. Looks like Bates oh. pinched him into the wall a little bit there, Bob, and then Markham got uh, tagged by a couple other go-karts. Yeah, it's not very often you see these carts just rolling backwards. Let's, uh, David Markham has an in-car camera. Let's see what happened. Shows the outside. Dangerous shit. Yeah. Oh, look at Good thing he got his hands off the damn wheel. Holy shit. Let's see this. Look at the steering wheel. Whew. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you imagine? That'd break your wrist in a yeah. heartbeat if you don't have your I hands I think he's got to order a couple of tie rods and at least a spindle. Bare minimum. He's flying up the field he's here. Not, he's not too happy with Bates. Oh. Yeah, he's going to ask him what his screen name is for AOL. <laughs> <laughs> it's throwback yep. night. Oh, <laughs> Green yeah. flag. Green flag, we're back under. Hey, man, what's your screen name so I can tell you to go fuck yourself when I get home? There's a way, me there's a way message email. says kicking ass, taking names. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley leads this thing. McCleary's going to have, he's got a long shot. Oh, he gets into Stanley, and that opens the door for Rob Bates. And, oh, McCleary's got an issue as he pulls up to the top of the track. Oh, man, I wonder if he snapped something or knocked the tire off the bead when he got into the right rear there. Uh, you know, he, it's the end of the race. He had to show him a nose. Oh, yeah. There it is. Throwback or no throwback. The old middle fingers, uh, you know exactly what that means. I don't know if he got hung up there in the fender or what. Looks like it. Oh, I think the body uh, collapsed down on the yeah. tire and he couldn't turn it anymore. He just put 10 more counts of front downforce in that motherfucker, and he's coming to the front. Let's see what happened here. Hey, yeah, he, he come down on him a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you see it. If it it's smoking yeah. quite a bit You're there. within the five to go. You can't be mad about that. I, You know, hell, 10 out of 10 of us would have done the same thing. Well, here we go. Let's see if Stanley can hold off Marco, who's back up top again. Yeah, and that was a good move by McCleary. That was a very good move. Back into third as McCleary's going to try to get back up to the field and get this win. He's got that situational awareness, I believe they call it, in the stick and ball sports. Yes, he does. Two laps to go. Can he get to Stanley's back bumper? He's got to get past Bates first, which he does clear him, and let's see if he can get a run on him and get this win. McCleary seems to have a little bit of that late apex running as it's one to go here. As the Bush series looks to wrap up the fair race, I think Stanley's got it in the bag, even though McCleary is trying his damn best to get to that back bumper. Coming off a of four, James Stanley is going to take home the fair win. I, if LJ McCleary had a couple more laps, he would have got that ass. Absolutely, absolutely. He was flying. Rob Bates finishes third here tonight in the DNQ lead to real estate race. You just need a little bit more, didn't you, to get the victory? Just a little bit more bite, a little more grip. It just, I just needed the long runs. and. Uh, didn't get it with the two to go. That was exciting, and thought I was going to run over LJ and didn't, and I got past him, and I thought I could hold him off, and then he just slipped by me, and I was like, okay, third place go-kart finishes third. So we're happy with it. This is a good run. So now we look at the points. You've gained a lot of points in a short amount of time. Like, if we didn't have the chase going on, I think you're going to be pretty far up there, like almost top five. Yeah. You could definitely win this championship if you ran it next year, which we're getting rid of the chase anyway. We're just doing points next year, but... Is that something that you're interested in? Oh, yeah. I'll be back. 
I look forward to running the Robles and the pit stops and all the different things in the four and a half inch tire class, um, whatever you have in store, but I look forward to it. We'll be back all year. Rob Bates had a good finish here tonight, a definitely a good run. Bush Series regular having some very good runs here as of late. Yeah. Second sucks. Yeah. League two second though, I, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. No, that's not even making it any better. What? You led like the majority of this race, what happened? Uh, just uh, got got pushed there through one and two. He was all over my bumper. It picked up a big push. I, I was on the brakes hard and just couldn't get it to turn. He got underneath me there. And uh, I had a hell of a run off of my four here, and he just uh, brain fart, turned left on me, shoved the nose in there, and then had to come from the back. And uh, I would have dumped his ass in a heartbeat if I could have got, got the bumper there. LJ McCleary, passionate LJ McCleary here tonight, finishes second twice. James Stanley Jr. victorious here in the Iredell County Fairgrounds race. Bush Series feature. And he'll get some Bush down here in Victory Lane. James, a good run there. LJ McCleary really had something for you there. It just you just end up getting him at the end there. Yeah, I knew he was probably better than me, especially on a long run. Mine started giving up toward the end. It was sliding real bad. And uh, I knew I had that one restart. And I said, if I can get under him right here, you know, I can probably get him to go to the back because everybody's behind me. And I just went, and <laughs> luckily I held him off the last few laps. How tough is this racetrack to drive here? I mean, I've driven here a couple of times before. It's not the same as all the other tracks. You actually have to finesse and use maybe use a little bit of brake. Yeah, I was I was on the brakes the whole race. I was trail braking pretty much the whole race. But you come up off the corner a little bit sideways or something, that wall comes out, and it's about to grab you. So it's it's fun, though. This is the first time I ever ran here, and I had a blast. Now, it is throwback night. We have a throwback trophy here for you. This is... Mike McLaughlin's Monadnock Bush Grand National third place trophy and is your winner's trophy here tonight. That's awesome. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm doing a throwback for my buddy Tony Belk. He's pretty much inspired me to race. I work with him every day. He's probably one of the best to ever sit in a go-kart. So I, I done that for him and I'm, uh, I'm real happy that we won. James Stanley Jr. victorious down here in the DNQ Bush Series feature. All right, Jay-Z, let's take a look at the Iredell County final results for the DNQ Blood Heavy Series. Get when Ben's drinking takes home the win. Lenard second, baby third. Ben just putting hurting on him. If I was some of these guys running in the back, I'd try to cozy up next to her. Maybe maybe buy her a Bud Heavy, take her out for some chicken or something like that. Try to figure out what she's doing because she's winning races. Yes, buy her a funnel cake. Uh, this series will be full-time next year. And uh, we'll see what, what happens there. We'll keep points and uh, a champion will be crowned. That'll be the Ghost Face Brewery Heavy Cup Series next year. Let's take a look at the ARCA final results. Raymond Searcy steals a win from Brad Jeffords, who was poised to have a really good shot at winning this championship. Now it's, it's all but. Uh, he's got a win, and Kinder's got to finish worse than 16th next year. And I don't think that's going to happen if Kinder comes back. He's a locked in top three unless something crazy happens. So uh, Jeffers needs to go to church, use his rosary beads, and hope for a miracle. Cersei, Vaughn, Shirk, Brooks, Thomas Markham, good run, top five there for him. That's a, a good run for the Markham family. This is the DQ Bush series. Stanley just won that race. McCleary second, Bates third, and uh, these guys are top three, a lot of talent. Yeah, um, I was really impressed with that race, even though. Um, you know, it got strung out a little bit. Someone was always hunting something down. And uh, McCleary uh, and Bates and Stanley showed people how to get it done and showed you uh, what good racing looks like. I want to congratulate Jason Denny on a championship. Uh, he is your 2018 DNQ Series champion. And uh, he definitely earned that. There was nobody anywhere close to him. I think I think Ryan Richmond was the next guy closest to him in that Cup Series. But uh, good for him. Him and Mike Hart's just come to the next race and get to celebrate one win away from tying Tim Nye's record for most wins in the season. Denny's just absolutely dominated the Hart's HVAC Cup Series this season. Uh, no one's been able to touch him. They put the time and the money into figuring out their tires and their go-kart. Everyone else has got to catch up, yo. LJ McCleary second, Christian Moody third, Caleb Cornbread fourth, Richmond fifth, Everham sixth, Curtis Markham seventh, Garris eighth, Josh Long ninth, Alex Ripstein in the tenth position, Waylon Hicks finished eleventh upside down and backwards. Well, we want to thank everybody for coming out here to the fair. Jay-Z, you're going to uh, cut out of here early and go check out some of the people watching here, as uh, we can see out here. Yeah, I want to go find some heavy set woman on a rascal, see if she'll buy me a funnel cake, and take her home to my double wide later and have a little fun. 
Yeah, you can get a stuffed animal while you're at it. Well, uh, for Jay-Z, I'm Bob Duato. We'll see you guys at the Pink Magic Fall Final, the final race of the season.